Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as Vlad von Karstein going up against Archeon the Ever Chosen, and this really is a Vampire Count's worst nightmare, because this army here that they have brought, for one thing being vastly superior in size and quality, is also not really what we want to be going up against, because when you're playing as vamp Vampire Counts, you want to be able to just wind of death them away, and most of these units are not really that affected by winds of death. And they've got all the spellcasters, which can bomb all of our units, because they've got metal casters here with Searing Doom. So a lot of dangerous things that can ruin his plan. He's also been caught in Force March. He Force March back to the settlement. But he does have uh, Mathland's Blessing, providing physical resistance, which will be completely bypassed using spells. So anyway, let's jump in here and see what we can do. I will actually be controlling Large Army, and I'll explain why in a bit. Okay, so I have noticed in the last few disaster battles that I've been doing is that the AI behaves very differently when you control large army and when you don't control large army. So things to note is that when you don't control large army, the AI zergs at you straight away. And that's not what we want. And when you do control large army, they tend to wait for their reinforcements, but they can also be goaded into making um, uh, like really insufficient attacks, I guess. Because our forces here can't overcome theirs. Like, what are zombies going to do against giants? Mm -mm. This That's never going to work. This is just empty balance of power, really. So instead, what we want to do is, of course, utilize the things that can generate us the most amount of balance of power, our heroes. I mean, that's usually how the vampire counts overcome these kind of odds. Anybody sitting here thinking that I was going to do some sort of cool technique with skeleton warriors? <laughs> Come on. What, what can we do, really? Imagine you can flank them. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to flank those giants with uh, skeleton warriors. That's totally going to work. Legend, you've got one unit of crossbowmen. They can kill, uh, you know, five units of giants. Uh, no, they can't. They'll be able to kill a couple. And maybe that'll happen. But no, what I want to do, actually, is Spirit Leech Archeon. Because Archeon is super dangerous. And there's no better way to get rid of him. Because if we go into melee with him, even if we go on a four versus one, we're still going to take loads of damage. And we've got a bit of a spell advantage against him. It will require a fair bit of magic, but we've got 145 reserves. In total, we've got about 170. So that's that's good. It's a fair amount. So this guy has put two points into um, Spirit Leech, so it only costs six wins of magic. And then you get 2.6 back. So it actually only costs 3.4 wins of magic, as long as we only cast it once every 25 seconds. So that gives us a better advantage over his Spirit Leech, because... He doesn't get life leeching, so it's going to cost more for him. Plus, the AI is more likely to actually use an overcasted spell if they've got the extra winds of magic, so it'll cost more winds of magic for him, plus give him miscasts. And then we just need Vlad to just hold as long as possible against everything else, because he is a very small target. If we could just make sure that he is fighting all of their Marauders or whatever, it should take ages for him to actually die, because he's got so much resistance. And in that time, we just focus on Archeon. So these ones over here, I've hid them down this way because I would like to use them to run down the enemy forces, and they're really not going to be effective in this blob over here. I put these guys over here because the enemy won't be able to do anything about it. Any flying units that they have, I'm going to be, I'm going to have flying superiority. I'm going to get rid of them straight away. Okay, so these ones here, just go stand over there, protect the archers as best you can. Yep, so Archeon immediately uses Spirit Leech. This gives us a little bit of a damage block for it. Now, as for Vlad, don't be too much of a rush to get in here. Now, there's a fair few units that are about to blob up, and it definitely would be good to to Pit of Shades them, but I reckon we would be better off just focusing on Spirit Leech. Now, it's really not the greatest spell. We're going to need a lot of them to get rid of Archeon, but this is, in my opinion, the best way to get rid of him. I think we should still end up with a fair amount of Winds of Magic afterwards. Because another thing is he doesn't have any base spell resistance. He has, does have ward save. If we had a... Um, if we had a... What's it called? A, what's it called? A, um, other trickster shard. We wouldn't actually be able to strip him of any of his ward save. It only strips you of spell resistance, which he has none. And you can't have negative spell resistance. We could pop this down as well. Oh, yeah. That's, that's okay. Never mind. Okay, just have, uh, uh, just have Vlad keep him busy while we're doing this. Just got to make sure that we do it once every 30 seconds at most. So between 25 and 30 seconds, just to make sure that he's not getting his barrier back because it's just wasting our magic. Good. We got rid of his barrier, so he's still overcasting. Who did he cast that on? 
He's overcasting on some. Oh, over here. I think he's... Yeah, upgraded. Even though it was a point-blank range. Doesn't actually do any additional damage. And that does, does a little bit of extra damage. We do have Fireball as well, but I don't really think that's a good use of our magic. Oh, the, wait, that doesn't cost any magic. magic. Might as well. I think Arkaya may be trying to focus on this particular wizard here. Yeah, because I think the AI, it's programmed to overcast whenever it's got enough winds of magic, even if there's no actual advantage to do so. Because it just costs him extra winds of magic and it also increases the cooldown. So the more that he overcasts, the better. Don't really need to use this. His melee attack is high enough. Yeah, you need to get rid of this. Get rid of as well. Focusing on Archeon. Yeah, they're really trying to shoot this one here. Let's just try to keep that one out of melee. They've, they should be fine here. To fight these ones. Don't believe that does any friendly fire. These ones here trying to shoot the death wizard. We don't want that. I can probably going to pop down another spell in a moment. Hopefully he overcasts that, and miscasts as well. So we've done a decent amount of damage to him so far, so that's good. Okay, back off. It would be good if we could kill that one. Yeah, well, I've already used this. Getting there. Now there's still another spellcaster here, and if that guy makes it over to here, that's going to be a problem. But yeah, we can see already that the AI, they've brought in two full stacks, almost, and they haven't really made any serious attack over to our main forces here. Because if they want to win, if they killed off all of the stuff here, I'm not actually sure if it would army losses, just because of how low value all of this is. Because we've also preserved some balance of power over there. But obviously we don't want them to die for nothing. Good, we killed that hero. Good, good, good. I'm not in any desperate rush for Vlad to dish out loads of damage. I'm just getting him to buy time. Because I think bringing him over here is is what's preventing them from advancing any further. Because they see Vlad as being worth a lot of bounce of power. And seeing this is worth next to nothing. Looking good here with Archeon. Just waiting to see if he pops down the other spirit, another spirit leech on this one here. I do think he's going to focus on this one. This is the one that we need the most. Could use Gaze of Nagash, which is technically cheaper in Winds of Magic, but it also kind of isn't because you don't get life leeching, I think, with Isabella. Which I should check, though. Yeah, no, she doesn't have any access to that. Only Manfred does. As in, a vampire spellcaster. Wait, so do Necrox, don't they? Yeah. Taking ages to cast. Oh, hang on, he's casting it over here this time. That's fine. If he's spreading it out amongst the different vampires, that is fine by me. And these ones here, if we didn't dodge their shots, it would do a little bit of damage to us. Not a huge amount. We've almost got rid of Archeon. Who is by far the strongest fighter here. Killing this one shouldn't be too difficult if we can get him isolated. But if he comes over here and starts popping down Searing Dooms, that's going to be a big problem. Vlad, just got to remember to keep this up. But he is doing just fine. So Vlad has inflicted 14,000 damage. That's nice. Oh my god, use your army. Problem is, if you do that, there's, they'll just eat shit. They won't be able to do anything interesting. Like, what's the point in that? Let's keep that going. 
I don't think we can actually cast this faster than what this can trigger because the spell takes 10 seconds and then it's a 16 second cooldown. So even if I'm perfectly fast, yeah, there'll still be like 4 seconds since that finished. If you've got two death casters, then you can alternate and that's fine. Because the effect applies to each individual wizard, not on the entire army. Whereas, for example, the um, the other passive here, uh, where is it? Yeah, this one here. You only really want one person at a time casting that, but it's only seven seconds. Because if you've got two spell casters casting it, it, it doesn't um, it doesn't stack. Whereas Spirit Leech does. Bit weird. All right, we've almost got rid of Archeon, but this doesn't, like, win us the battle outright. We've still got to overcome a fair bit. And it did cost us a decent amount of wins to do this, but I think spending this amount of wins of magic to just get rid of Archeon, having him only dished out this much damage, was well worth it. Definitely don't need to cast it on this guy, because we had to fight him, no problem. But yeah, when looking at Archeon, this, those, those stats are... He's actually a better fighter than Vlad. Because he's got so much melee defense. Yeah, these three here will struggle to land hits on him. Just a bit more, and he's out of here. Alright, not ideal that he's fighting a giant. It's not ideal. But the giant at least does physical damage as opposed to magical. So if we have a look here, that giant isn't really inflicting a lot. It's just got, just got a very high damage number and a high melee attack. Unless, of course, we debuff it this way. Alright, so you've got 500 health left. Let's do that. Helps mitigate that damage just by a little bit. Could have been a bit quicker on it. I think that'll be the end of Archeon there. Because it should do about 500 damage. Alright, then we need to figure out how to get the army losses. And also make sure this one here doesn't... There we go, okay. Archeon's gone. Good. Good, good, good. So the guy in the email said that Archeon basically killed all of his heroes. I don't think he thought to use Spirit Leech on him. Because you know, Archeon, loads of health, loads of resistances. But he had heaps of winds of magic, so it's fine. Because Archeon could bloody kill our entire army by himself. So we've made sure that doesn't happen. Now, another thing here is that this one is on a um, uh, Chaos War Shrine, so that's going to constantly generate winds of magic for them once some kills start happening around them, so we've got to be careful about that. Casting any spells over here isn't really going to be very effective. All right, maybe we can start bringing Vlad, because he's got the Banner of Swiftness. Start bringing Vlad back this way, just a bit. Because if we can get them blobbed up, we can start doing things like Pit of Shades or Wind of Death. Problem is, there's a lot of monsters in here. Vampire. Again, I don't really want to be using Spirit Leech on this one. It'll actually take longer than killing Archeon. A little bit isolated, but if we land in there, all of these cavalry will just keep us pinned down, so it's not really worth it. Not yet, anyway. And they're not going to do anything to us. So, what spells should we do, then? What's going to be effective? So, basic Marauders is not something we need to worry about. They've used up all their ammunition on them. Alright, when it comes to Chaos Knights, they're actually really quite vulnerable to Melkoth Mystifying Miasma, but you didn't put all the points into that, so that's not ideal. I don't think you did. Otherwise, it would be four winds of magic. And this one doesn't have um, life leeching. So I've got to figure out, what is their weakness right now? I can't really see any obvious weaknesses. We need to get them into a blob. The thing is, most of these guys just aren't really that vulnerable even then. Vampire. What's this guy doing? Nothing. Okay. No can cast some zombies. I don't think that's going to do anything, though. Well, we've still got more than a hundred reserves, so we didn't use up half of our wins of magic yet so far. Alright, using Melkoth on... Chaos Knights is is pretty good. It's not fantastic, but I'm just not seeing other great opportunities because honestly, even these infantry here, they're just not really 
that difficult to deal with. When it comes to the aspiring champions, we we'll probably need to just army loss them because we don't really have any good way of dealing with them right now. Okay, Vlad has just hit his maximum health regen, which that happened a little bit sooner than I would have liked. Actually, that is a that's a bit of a blob. I guess I could pop down a pit of shades on that. Don't know if I want to overcast it. Just regular cast should do fine. Only three units, but the Swords of Chaos should be reasonably vulnerable to it, because it's a lot of armor piercing. Yeah. I don't think the Swords of Chaos are doing that much damage to Vlad. But yeah, we need to get him back over here to safety. We don't want him getting wounded. But he's done what he needed to do. The next thing is these three here need to get at them. This one here. Another thing is that when we overcast the spell, it's a very long cooldown. What's going on? Oh, it's disintegrating. Good, good. Yeah, because we killed Archeon, so they've got um, low leadership. Everything's on the highest battle difficulty. Difficult modifier plus eight. Okay, that's looking like a pretty good blob there. But the problem here is that Archeon is... Oh, no, Archeon. Vlad is pinned down. I need to get him out of here. Uh, he's not really under any serious danger at this very moment. If you want to attack anything, attack the Swords of Chaos. And there's also these giants. But I think the best way to handle the giants is with the Sylvanian crossbowmen. So I need to lure them over here for that. And of course, it doesn't have that much ammunition, so I'm not going to be able to kill all of them. I just need to do enough damage to them and preserve our balance of power to inflict the army losses. Obviously, we're still hearing chaos music, so the balance of power is in their favor at the moment. Not ideal. The more damage Vlad takes, the worse off we are. We really need to get him out of here. But he's him finding the Swords of Chaos is pretty good. Also, if he gets a big blob of stuff going around him now, as long as it's not the giants, it's fine. I mean, that was the main reason why I pulled him out before. I didn't want him finding giants. If one giant wants to come over here, that's fine. This isn't going to do anything now. Apart from recover his fatigue... Oh, wait, we're on Force March, so we're not going to recover fatigue. No, hang on. Could land these ones in melee, but like I said, I don't want to get pinned down if I really need to go after this one. Yeah, when Vlad actually manages to get hits on it, because what happens here? They send Marauders on this one, then Vlad gets distracted and attacks the fucking Marauders instead of the Swords of Chaos. Why don't I use this? So, when you've already got a character with like a hundred melee attack, and if nobody has a melee defense, you know, higher than 70, Vlad already has the highest chance to hit, so there's no point giving him extra hit chance. This is best used against units that have low melee attack, so that they attack more frequently, or, more, or they hit more frequently. Okay, this looks like a good opportunity for this. We're pretty good for wins. Pretty good. But I would like to use a Wind of Death if possible. I'm just I'm using it right now. This is nothing really good for it. There was a line of infantry before, but it was all just basic crap, so I don't think it's worth bothering with. This is good. This is exactly what we wanted to have happen. Man, the AI is really fucking bad. I reckon if we had uh, not controlled large army, they would have absolutely rolled over us at the start, but they didn't do that really weird. It's funny how the meta keeps changing. It used to be always not control large armies, and now it's like, kind of never do it. Okay, that looks like he's home free there, because there's not too many fast units here. But what are we going to do with our magic? Also, there's units like Weird Spawn, which are unbreakable, which we have to deal with at some point. I think they caught wind of us over here, but our Direwolves should be able to beat some Chaos Warhounds. That's fine. They don't have anything too quick now, so... It's fine to reveal ourselves, as long as we don't get charged without at least counter-charging. Draw them in. Yeah, they're coming in. That, that should be fine, because at least I can heal them. Actually, Vlad, while you got this active, you should be quite good against this. While it's isolated. And actually, maybe don't fire at will. I, I reckon Vlad's going to kick its ass, because it was most vulnerable 
we're most vulnerable to it. While we were fighting a whole bunch of other things, but... Yeah, no, we've got our abilities ready to go. Mm. At least they're gonna break. The thing is, our breaking's not much better. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. That wasn't too bad. Alright, Vlad is definitely taking some damage against this guy. Done. That's definitely worth it, though. Giants are worth a load of bounce of power. But they got five of them, soon to be four. Hmm. So we traded off well there, I think. An invocation of Nehek could be a good idea on this one here, just to preserve some bounce of power, but I'll wait and see. Also, they've got no more flying units, so let's bring these in. Just look for vulnerabilities. For example, we can put the bats down on the Marauder Horsemen, and that's fine. They'll be able to beat them. Trade well against that. Okay, our direwolves will not fare well against them, but you know what? These three will. Since they're isolated, go for it. Then again on that one. Because, yeah, if we bring our bats over here, they'll try to stare at it a fair bit. But with no means with which to do anything about it. That's it. Kill the giant. Alright, I think this will go reasonably well. Spirit Leech is also fairly good against them, but... I reckon they're going to kick their ass really quickly, especially if I pop this down, which I will. And really what we're trying to do here is just pick Archeon's army apart a little bit at a time. Okay, now that we've landed, we can see they've kind of woken up a little bit, so maybe... Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Then again, if a whole bunch of these guys crowd around here, Spirit, I was got, um, Pit of Shades wouldn't be too bad. We're quite vulnerable on this flank over here, so let me just move back a little bit. Alright, a Spirit Leech in, sorry, not Spirit Leech, uh, Pit of Shades in here is not too bad. It's, it's not too bad against cavalry type units. And they just ran away, so that's maybe not the best. Timing for it. But yeah, we don't want Vlad to fight all the way down to like nearly no health, or else it just it really hurts our bounce of power. We need to inflict the army losses as early as possible. Yeah, don't go over this way. Okay, I need to get out of there. This is not gonna be good. If those giants come over here, this one's already used up her regen. Okay, she made it out, so that's okay. Isabella should have a lot of potential regeneration. Come on, get out of there if we can. So, I don't... I think we traded okay. It wasn't fantastic in that situation there. Okay, here we got some more Chaos Warhounds. We'll trade well against that. Make sure this is the one here that actually gets hit with their charge. Not this one, because it's already damaged. I can't seem to get out of there. I'm going to need to really get rid of all the chaff out of the way so I can move. Because, yeah, this one here attacking us, that's not Isabel. ideal. Don't want any of them getting wounded if we can avoid it. Slowly moseying over towards our army. This guy is isolated now, so it'd be a great time to go get him. But you know, we're kind of pinned down. This is why we didn't want to land earlier. Good, they handled that just fine. Ooh, this one took any damage. Right, because they got the hunger. Hunger won't recover dead units, but it will heal those that. Still alive. Come on. We're almost out of the way. Alright. We don't have that much Winds of Magic left. That being said, I don't rely on it that much more, I think. I don't think we really need it with it. Okay, we're all back up in the air. Don't bother trying to recover fatigue. Okay, I want them to try to take out the Immortal Horse men. And these ones here. Time to kill this one. And these ones have really bad combat stats, so they should have no problem with it. Unless someone comes over here to annoy us. But they're pretty far away. Now, killing that guy there, for one thing, they lose a level 17 character, which will suck for them. But also, loads of bounce of power tied up here. And also, the... That spell actually can do a fair bit of damage to us. 
Um, but yeah, if they, that guy gets over there, that could be really dangerous to us. Good. So yeah, just gotta wait for the right opportunity for your, like, really weak units to find enemy weak units. You don't wanna do that while they're surrounded by strong stuff. Alright, I need to really distract as many of these guys as possible while we're fighting here. Fighting. Oh, hang on, hang on. This is this is all this is all fine. They can fight all this. That's, that's no problem. Good, killing him super quick. All right, this one coming in there. That's no big deal. It would be good if somebody was eating some ass. That way he's got no melee defense. Not that big of a deal because his melee defense is not that hard to begin with. Ah right, shit. There's a problem over here, but I think we. Oh shit, that's that's a problem. That can't handle that. I do want this guy to actually die, but there's no way he's going to gain three levels up from this battle. Slowly moseying on over here. Road of Horsemen. Now you just you just fight that. That's fine. Dragon ogres. Are we? I think we're doing damage there. How are we going over here? Some of our guys are pretty weak. Maybe get out of that if we can before they start crumbling. Yeah, that guy's dying. That's good. Move out of the way. Don't want to fight dragon ogres. I know that this one here isn't on fire at will. So I need to remember to turn that one back on. This, uh, I think I'm going to get caught with this unit. It might start crumbling. Not really worth casting any spells to try to save it, since it's just a basic unit that he probably hired in an emergency. And I can't withdraw it from the battlefield. Ah, damn it, I got caught over here. Okay, we did kill that guy. Still playing Chaos Music, that's a bit of a problem. Come on, get out of there, get out of there. Yeah, this one here is just gonna get caught. It's, it's gonna get um, wiped out. Come on, guys. Goddamn bats. Refuse to properly get up. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, I'll try to support. If I can get over there, I might be able to save it. If I can get there. Oh, it's. No, no. It's crumbling, but it's. I've got. I got a little bit of time before it actually dies. They're pinning down like one bat. Come on. Oh, I'm not going to make it there in time. Because this has got a range of 200 meters. we still got too much distance we got to cover. No, there's no way I'll make it there in time. Don't worry about it. Alright, the fighting over here is about to begin. We need you to be firing at the giant once they arrive over here. It might get revived, it might not. Probably not, but we'll see. Alright, the bats... Uh, yeah, just stay there, keep these ones busy. Actually, no. You go fight them, and... Hounds of the Blood... Fine. They're anti-large, aren't they? No. Isabel. Should be fine here. I'll come around this way. Alright, so with our crossbows... Okay, good, it's coming to range now. Shoot it. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't moving around, so every shot counts. The closer it gets in, the better. Noble of the night. It's just more enforcement. Bring this one around to come and help. Got that off the battlefield. Okay, I thought I may have army lost them for a moment, but that unit just must have routed three times. Yeah, there's multiple friggin' giants here, and giants are really good at dealing with these sort of blobs because <laughs> they can just grind them down. They just don't have enough attack to dish out any serious damage. Okay, though. Good, this one's almost gone. If that had charged into our front line, that would have been very dangerous to us. Can you stay back? Chaos Knights. Yeah, run that one down. Same thing with you. Okay, Weird Spawn coming in. That actually might be better to shoot at, because we have to deal with that one way or another, whereas we can potentially break these Chaos Giants. Alright, Vlad needs to get in here. This is a good time to use this as well. 
problem is with them being further away. No, keep focusing on the giant. We'll deal with the Chaos Spawn. Knights of the Brazen Throne. Uh, uh, look, they're anti infantry. You guys should actually put me you back off a little bit. Should still be quite vulnerable to this spell here. Looks like it's just about to break. I got a little bit of Winds of Magic left. May use it for healing at the end of the battle. We'll see how we go. Good. This one here, breaking that early. That's super good. Here, you run this one down. If it stops healing, I'll use an Invocation of Nehek so that while it's running them down again in the Hunger, we can get more healing in on it. More entities revived. How are you going? Doing decent damage, yeah. Get rid of those weird spawn. Good. Wipe out these units so you don't have to fight them again next turn. Good, good, good. Still playing their music, though. This is useless here. No point using this. Move this one to the back. Same thing here. Try to preserve the army's integrity as much as we possibly can. Good. That Chaos Knight is wiped out. And they're still regenerating from that. Still no army losses. And I'm almost out of ammo on this guy here. Alright, maybe keep focusing on the giant. I just don't think they're dishing out that much damage to the weird spawn. Whereas, the giants are a bigger target. We'll grind down those weird spawn. One way or another. Okay, yeah, leave this one back, but you guys all come in. Because I don't have to land the bats. It's time for them to join the fire. So it's going to be a bit of a grind here. We do have enough Winds of Magic that we can cast a Wind of Death. But honestly, it's not going to do anything to monster units. So I'm not even sure if I should. Move back a little bit. It just doesn't seem to be shooting. Look at that, 116 kills. But 116 kills against trash. Actually, Vlad has taken a fair bit of damage. Probably from this one. Yeah, they're flanking, but even with a little bit of vulnerability, they're not really making very good use out of it. Still playing their music, though. I think I will... Ugh, no, Wind of Death, it just doesn't seem worth it. I'll hit my own units too much. How are we going to deal with this? Definitely landing the bats would be a bad idea. It's not going to do anything. Actually, no, they might do something against these Nurglings. Because these Nurglings are... Not that big of a deal. Actually, just run, run this shit down. No, actually. I, I think they can handle the Nurglings. Alright, you guys run that one down. You shoot a different target now. Okay, should get Isabella to be casting the heals. Because Vlad's not a very good spellcaster in this one. And I think we should overcast it. Because everything's damaged. Good, that giant's dead. And they're killing that at a... Meh pace. Get in over there and help out. Lab's hanging on. So, still three more giants to go. You need to move back a little bit. How are you going for damage? Pretty well. Good. It's always good to get rid of demon units, especially ones with low leadership because of their disintegration. You just get basically free balance of power loss for the enemy. Hmm. We're gonna start, yeah, some of these are starting to crumble. We're going to start taking serious casualties real soon if we don't inflict the army losses. Alright, charging on those dragon ogres, so I think they're doing a fair amount of damage. Don't bring in the bats just yet, just keep them close by. Same thing with this one, don't charge in, they'll just take too many casualties. Alright, we need to be using our abilities where we can. 
keep Vlad in the- There we go, there's the army losses, we did it. Right. Um... Okay, make sure we run down these freaking giants, and we need to resume shooting the weird spawn. It was actually very close. Like, we didn't lose that many units, but... If we didn't inflict the army losses on them then, they were probably gonna grind us down. Especially those freaking giants, because we were just about out of ammo. And magic. Alright, now with the remaining magic, we should try to recover as much as possible, especially on the units. Uh, how are we supposed to recover that? This one here crumbling. Can we possibly rally them? Okay, that one rallied. I'll, I'll actually use Vlad. Oh, he's got it on six minutes of magic as well. I didn't realize that. See if I can keep those units alive. So that means we just end up losing the dire wolf. All right, you lots. Yeah, make sure you try to take out the single entities. Because, yeah, this would be better off running down infantry while the bats are running down other things. Yeah. You don't need them all going after the same one. Pick a different giant each. Alright, they're still decaying. Problem is, trying to heal them, we may be missing out on healing the other ones. Like I said, wait for this one here to finish before we cast again. Again, we could overcast it, but we'll get less uses of the Curse of Undeath, which is healing everyone by a little bit. It would have been great if you had a Necromancer in this army, because one thing, Vigor Mortis, giving them extra stats, but also a Unholy Lodestone, good for for regeneration. Alright, so I'll just pause the recording as I run all these guys down. Okay, so I ran out of magic, and this one here is still crumbling, so unless I end the battle right now, then it's going to die. But at the same time, we are running down the giants, and I think killing the enemy giants is kind of worth it to lose a bunch of... I already lost it. <laughs> Wait, did I? The legend withdraw it from the battlefield. Yeah, it can't. Yeah, I think getting rid of the giants would be worth it. One of the giants did get away, though. Because, yeah, I think he just recruited these units here. It looks like they've been freshly recruited because they've got no experience. Uh, just as an, as an emergency. Because what he was originally doing, it was a bit of a longer email. Not super long, but anyway. Um, what he was originally doing is just basically just these heroes, and he had the, um, the Nemesis crown. And so he was basically going around blowing up entire armies, no problem. But he lost the Nemesis crown because he couldn't find someone to fight for three turns. I've actually had that problem as well in one of my own campaigns. And... Then Archeon shows up, and so we had to hire some emergency units. Alright, let's see how the rest of this campaign is going. So, the unit that we did actually lose, all of them, were actually part of the garrison. Part of my plan all along. So I actually didn't realize they were part of the garrison. Um, so yeah, no harm done to the actual army, because that's just going to come back anyway. That's why we don't really care if garrison units get wiped out first. So we didn't really do any serious damage to the, um, the sparring champions. I wasn't expecting to. The main thing there was just getting through the, the battle. And what a reward we got, Scarecrow Banner. So your finances don't seem too fantastic. I could go with replenishment, but honestly, let's just go with money. And let's see how the rest of this turn goes for you. Yeah, your campaign does look like it's going pretty well. You're just not making shitloads of money. That's fine, don't have to. Oh, what's going on here? Another disaster battle. This one is going to be more difficult because... This is not great for defending. It is a walled settlement, though. Thing is, these units perform really bad in order resolve. It may actually be worth it to hold the walls. Because, like, we got no missile units. And they've got... Oh, fuck, it had to be a metal caster. Um, I'll fight this, because this is actually a legitimately a disaster battle. Like, I'm actually not sure if I can win it. But I'll do what I can. Okay, now, normally I don't even hold the walls in a walled siege, right? But... Oh, they've, they've been 
besieging that for a little bit. We've got this. Right. I was thinking of leaving these guys up on the wall because if these guys don't get a chance to shoot, their their melee combat stats is pretty much just as bad as ours, especially against the Grave Guard. Our Grave Guard shouldn't be too bad against them. However, the Screamers of Zinch. Now, they're anti-large, so they're wasted on all of our guys up here, but that's, they can still knock us off the wall. Whereas if I go back to here, we could use some tower placements here and there to dish out little bits of damage, but you've got to keep in mind they've got barrier. And that's another problem that we're going to face here, is like actually dishing out damage fast enough. Plus they've got this guy here popping down bombs. It would have been so useful if you had put a Lord in here. Um, hmm, what to do? Yeah, because if we fight up on the wall, they're just going to keep using this to bomb us, and it's going to be really good for them. Plus our towers are not going to do very much. Hmm, okay. I, I would love to hold the walls, but there's, I reckon there's just not enough advantage there for it. What I'm going to do instead, I'm going to try to get the attention of these, yeah, with the bats, and bring them over here nice and early, because if we kill them early, relatively cheaply, that's going to be very valuable. So, this as a last standpoint could be good, because there's a tower here with pretty good visibility. If we put some basic towers here and there, like I said, it's probably not going to do very much. Need to make sure this one here isn't targeted by the Screamers, because it's actually good against them. Got no ability to heal them. Uh, it would be good to have the towers active, but the... Uh, it's going to be completely blocked by the, the siege equipment there, so it's not going to do anything for us. But yeah, I'm really worried about these guys here getting their shots in on us. We need to prevent that. Problem is our units are quite slow. So standing around corners could work, because they don't have a very good firing angle. That could work. Really wish we had a wizard. Alright, well, let's do what we can. I'm not going to build anything just yet. That's it, get the attention of these screamers, and let's start bringing them in nice and early. Killing their lord would also be good, but we don't really have any good means to do it. Like we got this guy here as anti-infantry. Thing is, you go into melee with it, they just pop down a Searing Doom, and then that's it. That's why I said, oh no, Metal Wizard. Because if it was a Zinch spellcaster, that honestly wouldn't be quite as dangerous to us. But the weakness in their army is definitely the Screamers of Zinch. So we're going to try to use that to gain the balance of power advantage if we possibly can. Another thing we got to keep in mind is that the... The Auto Resolver gave us a bonus because we're fighting in a Siege Defense, but the Siege Defenses don't provide us any value because of the damn Siege Equipment that they've got. Which is why we didn't even put a single unit up on the wall. If they didn't have the Siege Towers, I would have put my guys up on the wall. Oh, and if they didn't have the, um, the Spellcaster there. Is that just lure them in? We should actually try to blob up as much as possible because that's going to be really bad for them, but good for us. Also, I, hang on, I just realized, what we could do is pop down, yeah, this provides heal per second. If we pop that one down, we can use that to regenerate a little bit. But we can't recover units that are dead, or weren't even alive to begin with in this battle. Our legend, they're never alive because they're undead. Can't recover beyond 64, that's what I mean, or 48. So what we do here is we just land... Right here, that's another thing. If we made any towers, the Screamers would have just got rid of them. Alright, we'll put a good tower here. I think that makes a lot of sense. That's it. The fact that the bats came... Oh, sorry, not the bats. The, um, the Screamers came over here. That is very good for us. Okay, let's land the bats. Hopefully that's just going to land straight over here. I guess one thing I could get the cavalry to go and do is recapture points after they've gone and taken them. Alright, good. Get them in there. Alright, now the other bats... Oh, sorry, not the other bat. The bats go and get the attention of the other screamers. I would send these guys in there, but they're quite vulnerable to Screamers. We don't really have a very good blob in there. How's it going for damage? Yeah, it's a bit. God damn it. At least they're coming at us one at a time. That's something to be grateful for. Alright, this one here. 
can't just wait, just wait, just wait. This is definitely not an advantageous situation for them, but we don't have them as surrounded as I would like. It's not going to do any friendly fire. Don't have to worry about that too much. But yeah, if they can just kill even one of these Screamers, that'd make a big difference. Another thing is, if we get their leadership down enough, it'll start crumbling, and they crumble way faster than vampire units, so that's good. Okay, we've, if we can get the attention of this other Screamer, deal with them before having to deal with the blue horrors, because like, or, or pink horrors, because with them, being in a blob is a bad idea, but being in a blob for these guys is a good idea. The student here is going to get wiped out if we keep this up. But, based on what I'm seeing here, we traded well against it. Good. Because, like, a bunch of low-tier shit units... Okay, move up to this way. Beating a... What tier is it? Tier 2. Oh, I guess it is low-tier. Yeah, if we move over, over here, we might be able to mitigate some of the casualties. Sometimes take... Come on. Oh, and they're still on the ground? That's fine. Come on, get moving, move, move, move. Just get in over there. Well, ideally, we want them to land on top of us. I guess I forgot to put these guys back up in the air. This is where it is. Losing a couple of bats. Although, this is the only thing I need them for. I guess I could use them to pin down the other units later. Oh, there! Come on, land on us. We got regen here. Good, right in the middle of them this time. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're going to kill them super quick this time. That's going to be even better. Good, good, good. Let me get back up on the air. All right. As for the cavalry, uh, go around and recapture some of these points. So they maybe send some forces back here and there to go and recapture the points again. So yeah, any damage this is doing to us, we should be mitigating with the healing. We just need to take whatever little bits of advantage we can. Good. Okay, draw them in. Another thing is that we really don't want them to cap this point here, because we don't want to lose the leadership and melee defense buff. But so far, the battle's gone pretty well. So far. But that was the easy stuff. Now we've got to deal with this one. If I could get that one to maybe waste its magic, if I, like, get within range of Searing Doom and get them to shoot at me, cast a spell, I might be able to dodge it. So, yeah, no more blobbing up. We don't want that now. Uh, okay, you're going to shoot this. How much ammo do they have? 20? Uh, no, no, no. Trying to waste that is a big mistake. Good that this guy is not going in towards the main... Oh my god, seriously, the fucking path... People have been saying, make a video on the pathfinding. You're not wrong. I stand still. Will they cast? Okay, no, hang on. We don't want to get shot up by the other stuff. Yeah, they want to cap all the points. It's okay, as long as none of them die, I can actually recover that health with that other location. Mm, I need to get in there and try to recover some of these capping points. But it could be tricky to get in that way. Really don't want this guy coming in over here. I think the best way to handle him is not trying to kill him, because we're just not going to be good at dealing with him. He'll be able to beat our guys in melee, except for the grave guard, I guess. Just, yeah, don't be in a blob. Oh, shit. Damn it, lost someone. I mean, every trooper counts. I wish they were a bit quicker. So I could charge into these blue horrors. I think I'd do a bit of damage. Got to keep in mind they've got physical resistance. Thing is, I don't even think I'll be able to get through their barrier, but let's have a look. Because they got a lot of it. Mm, yeah, 
it's not worth it. This is this is go back and recover some of these points while they're advancing over on us here. Alright, I'm gonna put a big blocker in there now. Now that we've got one unit in here, we basically want to try to just bring them in one at a time. If we can. Alright, you'll have to go around to the absolute back of the, the settlement. Need some of you. Because, yeah, we want to surround this as quickly as we possibly can. Just be very careful about blobbing. Very, very careful. Oh, that's good. That's good. This is also good that they're chasing after us here. Hopefully we can cap this in that amount of time. All right. Charging one in. If we can, that would be good. All right, I'm also going to switch this to be a blocker. I just need to buy more time for us to actually kill these units individually. Don't send these in because they don't have shields. Okay, if they do that, that's fine because what we can do is... Because they're wasting ammunition for that. Yeah, yeah, that's actually really good. Because we can save this by switching it at the very last second. Because i got plenty of supply points. But once it's been destroyed, I can't do anything about it. Alright, that's it. Good. Alright, this one here did three characters. Okay, that's not so bad. Just, oh yeah, massively watch out for spell casting. Hang on, how are we going here? But yeah, them using their ammo to get through here, that is really good for us. How are we going here? There's any two units against us. Well, that's actually good, because honestly, the fewer units that come through here. Alright, look, if you're done, I'll let you through. You've used up your ammo, come on through. That's why I left you there, and oh, maybe I should have used a regular skeleton, although casualty's not too bad, I might be able to heal it somewhat. Can't really use these ones here because they don't see them. But losing that pink horror there, that is definitely good. I don't think we're going to cap this in time, we need to, we just need to move. It's not worth losing the unit to get that point back. If it's just distracting them, that's good enough, and that's the whole reason why I was getting it anyway. He's completely missing on that. Good, if he can just... Well, it's not going to stay busy on that forever. Alright, good. Unit got wiped out. Move back. Okay, try to move out of the way if we can. When we can, although these are... Definitely not the right unit to use for this, but we kind of dodged that a little bit. Alright, I want to switch that back to this. It gets all of its health back. Uh, would have been good if we could have actually blocked that one off, but at least we'll block the other ones from coming in for a little bit. Can't move back. Let me get back, buy ourselves as much time as possible, because we don't want this one pinning us down and then the other one shooting us. How are we going here? Going very well, actually. So far, so good. Shit. Yeah, don't let this guy in. And we do not want to fight in this general area here at all, if we can avoid it. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, we need to charge in there. Let these ones here be visible, so that maybe shoots at us. Okay, move, move this one back around over here. Maybe I can recap this point. Maybe. Good. Hey, they're going to hit their own unit. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, you shoot at this. Okay, they will eventually break through that, but it's going to take them a very long time. Oh, that's fine. It's just Plague of Rust, not that big of a deal. Okay, they're much more likely to cast down the... I should just shoot at this one here. Well, whatever. Just shoot at whatever you can. Uh, yeah, much, like I said, much more likely to shoot at units pinned down in combat as opposed to ones that are not.
Okay, they'll cast that again real soon. Uh, move this guy out of it so it doesn't get caught. Oh, actually, no, he's anti infantry. He's good at fighting them. Nope, they're gonna cast on this one. Move it out of the way. At least they're relatively quick. Move, 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 move. Blew off this one here. Very close to death. Oh, getting close to wiped out. I mean, of course they're already dead. This is going very well. I think. So this one here, eh, not too much damage. This one here, considering how much that unit is worth, it's not delivering a lot of value. Good. That one's gone. Bring them over here. Good, mostly dodged that. Okay, they've almost broken through here. Yeah, don't make a barricade, let them in. Just basically let the units in one at a time. Yep, now's a good time. Let them in. It's gonna take him too long. Oh, he's not even interested in coming in this way. Okay. Good. Didn't get hit at all. Very nice. They can pick up a little bit of a heal over here once that's finished in five seconds. That's good. No. Didn't get a chance to get that one back. Just keep running back in here. I mean, that takes a lot longer to capture than this one here. But as long as we're keeping them distracted, that's fine. Good. Sorted that out. I actually think the Bounce of Power should be in our favor now. So there's one more blue, one more pink horror, and their Lord, which... That Lord is very quickly wasting most of its Winds of Magic. This is why it's so important that we weren't in a blob. I actually think we can kill it, especially with the Grave Guard. How quick is it? That's it. Use a spell for lack of armor on a unit that didn't have any. <laughs> well, and they had 10. Let's move back. You get back in there. Every bit of bounce of power counts. Good. Hang on. You're, you guys are in quite a blob. Just be careful there. Yep. Just run on back. Don't have enough units to cap it because we've only got a weight of 1.9 next to nothing. This one should be fairly close to running out of magic, but being Zinch, they kind of have unlimited sometimes, so probably not. You just got to be careful that we don't send everyone in against this. For one thing, they won't be able to fight, but they'll be popping down those abilities, the um, Searing Dooms. Crap. Yeah, didn't dodge that one at all. Okay, you can fight as well, because you can at least put down the poison attacks on them. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, that Searing Doom did a lot of damage. I'll move this one over here. Can't heal any further with that one. And like I said, these guys are not great at dealing with these single entities. Even if they are anti-infantry, it just takes them a while to do it. See where the next Searing Doom comes. Alright, they're starting to come in this way. Alright, we've got to switch this one back to this before they get here. And hopefully they'll use up all of their ammo on the barricades, which is great. Hmm. I expect that he would have cast another spell by now, so maybe... He's used up all of his um, magic. That'd be good if that's the case. Yeah, them using up their ammo to get rid of these barricades, so good for our balance of power. All right, let's move you back because you're about to crumble and that wouldn't be good for us to lose 18 troops for nothing. Just hang back. Don't crumble, don't crumble. Okay, that's it. Oh, there we go, army losses, we did it. Cool. Whew. 
same sort of um, mindset for both battles. I take them apart a little bit at a time. If we'd attacked them head on, we never would have won. But, yeah, got through it. Two heroic victories in a row. Let's see, I mean, I don't think you need that for Chaos Corruption in all of your provinces. Go with Safeguard. Alright, and all of that seems fine. Yeah, your army here, you're in good enough shape that you should be able to finish off these. Because, yeah, you got the Winds of Magic for it. They're fully healed. It's like they didn't even fight, well, almost fully healed. It's like they didn't even fight a battle. And you've got plenty incoming this way, so you're in this stance here, obviously, to make sure that you're not taking attrition. That's obviously going to be a massive pain in your ass going into the Chaos Waste for you. They will serve. And so the battle that we fought was at the Crystal Spire, so that would have been under siege for a couple of days. I think what happened here, it was under siege and you were expecting to bring this guy over here to stop him, raiding your own territories. But of course, that's because otherwise you take Chaos... That's interesting. Um, but yeah, there shouldn't be another revolt there now. Because if we have a look here, it should say military crackdown. Yeah, it, that was definitely a revolt. Because those guys would never last this long normally. So yeah, you got, you got some problems coming in here and there. But you've definitely got enough armies to handle it. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.